There's, uh, we're in the ring here with these 11 litter pigs. Um, they're going to be, quite frankly, hush money, uh, silver lining. Um, again, I, I touched on this sow um, uh, earlier uh, and just what she does. Uh, she always makes my best feeding pigs. There's a, a Barrett that uh, was at San Antone that, that Brockman had from me a couple weeks ago that I, I really liked. Ends up second in class. And um, it just uh, constantly making those big sales and, and right there. And I, I know she's about to break through because I, I just love the quality that she continues to produce. And, and we're in here with 11.7 and 11.5. And, and they're, they're, uh, uh, they're, they're some of my favorites in the sale. So. Yeah, these pop in here. I didn't. Uh, I don't think we did them in sale order by any means, but uh, uh, these offer a lot of quality, uh, and, and they're very, very similar in their type and kind. Uh, I've said it earlier, not to sound repetitive, uh, we've just got a little bit of size difference in terms of uh, uh, the way you want to feed them. Uh, we're going to start with this uh, uh, this eleven uh, this eleven five, the smaller of the pigs. Uh, that one there looks like a uh, a southwest pig, a midwest pig. I think a very, very good feeding barra. Uh, there was a couple in here that I thought highlighted last year's uh, sale. Uh, that one's got the same indications. Uh, uh, proportions are good. Uh, he's not a little small, uh, a quick one. Uh, he's awesome in terms of his head shape, and still he's got an awesome length of neck. Uh, his forearm's huge, his hind leg's big, and he's got the hair that we all like. Uh, you know, some might be uh, act like it's a bad thing to talk, but it's important to have, and that hog's going to have that. Uh, and usually bone and hair goes uh, hand in hand, and I think that one there uh, has all those indicators. Uh, he's not maxed out sale ready. He is a feeding pig with all the right indicators. I would have that one very high on the list. That 11.5 uh, pig is, is, is really good. 11-6 um, is one that offers a little more stature, a little more size. 11-7, um, sorry about that. I, looks like I lost showmanship. 11-7, uh, Grant uh, is actually reading the notches here professionally. Uh, th this pig here is, is one that I think uh, – um, he probably fits the July setting in terms of one you can just push on uh, because he's big enough in his type and kinds. And I'm not saying anything. I'm saying July or August uh, fe feeders can make that decision. But that pig does have a, a chance to make it in July at maturity-wise. Another one, high-headed, awesome back shape, very, very heavy structured like his brother, good centered kind of a hog and still flexibility. Uh, I think they're both very similar in type and kinds. I think maybe different endpoints, different management. Uh, but uh, if you're serious about uh, feeding ones that uh, have feedability to them with all the right kind of indications, these 11s are awfully, awfully good. 